Good afternoon, Fossil Ridge. It's another great day to be a T-Rex. Before we start today's lesson, I uh, just want to remind all of you about our characteristics uh, or those, those things uh, that we are, that we do at Fossil Ridge that set us apart. Again, remember, Fossil Ridge, our students and our teachers and our staff members, our administrators, our secretaries are trexcellent because we are respectful, responsible, resilient, kind, and safe. That's how we do things at Fossil Ridge Intermediate School. I hope you've all had a great start to your week. Today we're going to talk about uh, student expectations in the commons area. Uh, we're going to talk about dress code and we're going to talk about those things that uh, we need to continue to do to be trexcellent students at Fossil Ridge Intermediate School. Next, uh, I want to quickly focus on our, our commons area, our lunchroom. Again, some of these items uh, we've seen before, so they're simple and we'll just kind of move through them a little bit more quickly. Uh, we need to remain in the commons before school, we know that. Uh, once the bell rings, we're going to leave the commons and go to class, we know that. We now understand the new expectations that before school or during lunch, uh, if we're in the commons area, if we're anywhere in the building for that matter, cell phones are to be powered off and put in our backpacks. Uh, when we're in the commons, we're not going to be goofing around. We're not going to be throwing apples at each other. Uh, we're not going to be spitting spit wads at each other. We're not going to be pushing each other, grabbing each other's backpacks. Um, if you need to use the restroom prior to the school day, uh, we want you, we expect you uh, to use those those bathrooms on the side of the, uh, the commons area, those, those PE bathrooms. As far as the commons area during school, similar expectations that we have in the hallways, similar expectations that, you'll, that we see in the classrooms. We're going to walk, whether it's lunchtime, whether it's before school, whether it's after school, whether we're in there with a class for whatever reason. We always need to be walking. When you finish eating your lunch, we need to do a much better job of cleaning up after ourselves. The adults in this building are not here to clean up after your mess. Your tray, your area, your responsibility to clean it up. And not only that, but, but don't be afraid to, to look around. And if someone has left a mess, either clean the mess up and help us out, or if the person is still there, you know, just kindly let them know, hey, we're ex Fossil, at Fossil Ridge, we're expected to clean up after ourselves. So what can we do together to, to get this mess cleaned up? No more eating outside, or no eating outside. I'm sorry, we shouldn't be eating outside to begin with. Uh, so make sure we're eating inside before we go outside to do our things out there. Uh, we're seeing a lot of tardiness after lunch, kiddos. And it's frustrating, frustrating to our teachers. And when our teachers get frustrated, I get frustrated. And Mrs. Brackett gets frustrated. So... Because of that, we're going to initiate a new bell during lunch, a, a warning bell like you have in PE that will ring five minutes early, and that will be your bell to alert you, hey, in five minutes, the first bell is going to ring. This is time to clean up, time to get our stuff cleaned up in preparation to go back inside and get ready for class. That's what we're here for. We're, we're here to go to class. We're here to learn. Uh, and again, like, like I talked about a few minutes ago, uh, if we're not getting to class on time, it's, it's hindering our ability to learn. Again, no cell phones. Uh, again, we're keeping our hands to ourselves. Uh, one issue that we're being, uh, starting to see a little bit more of at the beginning of lunch when, when the lunch lines are roped off, 
we have students kind of sneaking around our, our teachers, ducking under the ropes and butting in line. Go around the ropes. Get in line. We're not butting. We're not saving places in line. We're going to get into an orderly line. There's plenty of food. There's plenty of time. So do what we need to do. And again, no go. After school, we've already talked about it. The bell rings. We walk through the commons. We don't walk to the commons and hang out. We walk through the commons, either out the front doors to be carpooled or out the back doors to uh, get on the bus or, or walk home. What happens if these rules are broken? What happens if these expectations are not met? Shocking surprise. You've seen these same three things before. Verbal warning, parent contact, lunch detention. If cell phones are are out in the in the commons area, same exact process. Verbal warning. Lunch taken to the office to be picked up by the student. Lunch taken to the office to be picked up by a parent. Bathrooms. Uh, before school, again, we're going to because we all need to be in the commons area. Uh, we're, we're not going to use the, the bathrooms in the hallway. We're going to use the those P side bathrooms. Uh, don't hang out in the bathroom. If you need to go in and use the restroom, if you need to go in and, and wash your hands, if you need to go in and blow your nose, go in, do what you need to do, and come out. The kiddos, the bathroom is not the place to hang out. Just Just think about it for a second. When you think of fun places to hang out does bathroom come to your mind yeah no not so much the beach yeah the bathroom eh, not so much so go in do what you need to do get out we we don't need to be hanging out in the bathroom most important thing here respect the facility Respect the facility. Again, like we talked about in the commons area during lunch, if you make a mess, clean it up. Because if you make a mess and you don't clean it up, you've left that for Mr. Castro and his custodial crew. And they have a lot better things to be doing than cleaning up 11 and 12 year old messes in the bathroom. Treat it with respect. Clean up after yourself. If you go in and you, you hear something that you think is a little weird or strange or you see something that you think is inappropriate, come out, find the nearest adult, and let them know what you saw or what you heard, and we'll get it taken care of. During school, same kind of thing. Uh, make sure if you're... Out in the halls, headed to the restroom during class, you better have a hall pass. After school, again, we're going to move through the commons. If you need to use the restroom on your way out, we're going to have you use those restrooms in the commons area. What happens if these expectations aren't met? Again, shocking surprise, we're going to follow this same uh, four-step process. Verbal warning, parent contact, five days of lunch detention, and a meeting with administrators, parents, students. Lastly, as we finish up today's discussion on our uh, school-wide expectations, Fossil Ridge dress code standards need to be uh, need to be clarified. Some specific things that we're going to ask of you to leave home. Uh, we understand that, that some of you have spent a lot of money on your clothing, and that's fine. Everybody in the building spends a lot of money on their clothing. But there are some items that we just need to, to leave home. Uh, and so the following items, we're just asking you to avoid wearing them to school. 
uh, and this this goes for boys and girls alike. Uh, no tank tops. Uh, no bra straps hanging out of, of your clothing or outside of your sleeve. Uh, gentlemen, boys, no sagging pants with your underpants showing. We don't. Nobody needs to see that. Uh, no bare midriffs, especially from our girls. Uh, I had a hat on earlier. I I took that off. I had my beanie off. So yeah, even even in the uh, in the winter time, beanies count as hats. Uh, no hats in the building. No hoodies in the building. We we can't see your face. Okay, so essentially, kiddos. Uh, nothing on our heads. Okay, obviously no gang attire, and then uh, ladies, just be just be careful with your shorts and your skirts and, and things like that. Well, that does it. Uh, I hope that our school wide expectations have been made clear. I hope you understand what those expectations are. I hope you all understand uh, the process that will be followed. Uh, if those expectations are not met by our students. We have a big student body. We have 950 of us. Uh, and we're just going to be getting bigger as, as the years go by. So these, these things and adhering to these expectations are of the utmost importance. Uh, I love being your principal. I love this school. And you are so, so lucky to have the teachers that you have. Now, let's move forward. Let's do our very best, and uh, let's make every day a great day to be a T-Rex.